Peace be with you. Welcome to the Dean Shaw. Maybe your host, and you're like, "What are you doing, Eddie? You in a pajama or what?" No, it's not a pajama. This is a, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu uniform, and I have the Ultimate Fighting Original Champion. The Sports Illustrated did a feature of the top 50 legendary, most influential athletes of all time. Hoist Gracie is in the Dean Show studio. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. This is the Dean. The This is the Dean Show. 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 Hoist Gracie, how are you, my friend? Life is good in my world. That's good. Thank God. Thank God. I'm really excited that you're on the show. Hoist Gracie, legendary UFC champion. You know, the Dean Show is viewed internationally all over the uh, globe, thank God. And we're blessed that, you know, uh, we, we have you here in the Dean Show studio. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit. We, uh, we, um, I've been training Gracie Jiu-Jitsu for a long time. You're one of my original teachers. <laughs> you know, uh, tell us briefly for the audience, some, some people who still ain't turned out to Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, tell us a little bit about yourself, please. Man, ah, talk about myself. Let's talk about, talk about my father. Your father, okay. He's the one who started the whole thing. He's the one, I mean, he learned by watching. And uh, he couldn't do it because he was very small. My uncles learned the art of jiu-jitsu from the Japanese. And... And one day my uncle was late for a class, my father stepped in, told the student that he would run the self-defense program and uh, did, taught the student a class. From that day on, the student wants to take class with my father. That's when my uncle said, man, what are you doing? What did you do? When he was watching, he didn't create a new style, a new martial art. He just add leverage to the moves, mm -hmm. so a smaller person could defend himself against somebody bigger and stronger. Mm -hmm. Let's go through some of these fights. People are seeing this big guy. I believe his name is Kimo, right? And again, we're talking to some people. Many people don't know about Gracie's Jiu. They, they still think that look, man, I, I uh, uh, nobody's taking me to the ground. So now you're on the ground right here, and people are thinking, okay, you got this 250 plus pound guy, muscle, pure muscle. What are you? What are you about? Uh, about 180. You're 180. At that time, you're around same. 180. What's your dad? Yes, 20 now, years. <laughs> now we, we see your dad's there. He's telling you something. He's telling you something. You're you're on your back. What are you thinking at this time? Well, what happened is. Um, to prove the effectiveness of Grace Jiu-Jitsu, we, back in Brazil, my father, my uncles, my cousins, my brothers start to challenge people to see which style is the best. And there's only one way to find out. Get in a cage, in a ring, and take all the rules, weight divisions, there's no time limit, no gloves, no rules. And we've been doing that in Brazil for many years. My brother Horion came to America and brought the same concept to America and create the UFC. So, but the, in the beginning, 20 years, 21, now 21 years ago, it was an eight-man tournament. So you had to fight three fights in one night. And I defeat all my opponents, three fights, without breaking a sweat, just showing the technique of the, that my father created. Mm -hmm. So that, once America found out, because what happens in Brazil, people don't know. But once my American found out, it spread out all over the world. All over the world. And then the second UFC, my brother Horton made the, the tournament. It was a 16-man tournament, so it was four fights in one night. So you had to fight four fights in the same night with no time limit, no weight division, no rules. Everything goes mm -hmm. in a cage. Two men walk in, one walk out, and I beat four opponents. In the same night, now right, somebody has a two hundred. All the opponents, there's no weight, limit, no weight limit, no weight division. So I'm fighting guys. I'm one eighty. I'm fighting guys two fifty, two seventy, two eighty. Just they're professional in their style fighting that sumo wrestler to against a kickboxer, against a a wrestler, against a judo player, against a boxer. The karate. best of the best. So this is like the best in karate. 
the best and athletes i mean not just okay a black belt karate but they're at the top of their level correct they're at the top of the level but then the what i mean was um what impressed the most it was that i'm those i was the smallest person beating the guys who were not just bigger but beating them without having to smash their face submitting them with a technique with a choke with the arm lock and they would quit and like get out clean face without having to be smashed up and so it's not a violent <laughs> yeah. art it's a self-defense art as gentle as possible yes right <laughs> yeah so 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 now Beat with kindness with kindness that's right that's so important yes and now you proved obviously this is uh, without a shadow of a doubt have you ever had somebody now today i know there was in the gracie academy there was a, tell us about the time it was it open for anyone it was a challenge man. anyone can come in there's old footage people are seeing right now that now this is in the academy this is even before the ufc it was a challenge like how, how did you guys set that up before the ufc there was a i mean there was always a student that train karate or train wrestling and he would come in and it's like man my karate instructor i told him about you guys and he said he doesn't believe so we said well bring him on bring him over we'll be glad to talk to him about it so he'll bring the instructor over and the instructor is like well i don't think he can take me to the ground so we kind of it wasn't it wasn't exactly a fight because we'd never beat them up. Yeah. We just take them down, we're more baptizing them, <laughs> turn them into a, turn them into a, a believers. In Gracie Jiu Jitsu. In Gracie Jiu Jitsu. So we take them down, we're more looking like, okay, my brother will always say, man, don't beat this guy up too bad. He's gonna be a future student. Mm. So we treat them as a future student. So the guy will come in and I'll take them down, not even a slap to the face, you just control them and show it to them. Then they'll be like, oh man, I'm trying my best over here. And Hoist is doing nothing, just controlling me, taking me to the ground, taking me out of my game. It's embarrassing. Can I learn this? <laughs> <laughs> and again, with kindness and gentleness, this is amazing. We'll be right back with more here with legendary Hoist Gracie on The Dean Show. We'll be right back. What are we doing here? And where are we gonna go? It's like we just woke up one morning, and then it's welcome to the show. Don't ask any questions, just go with the flow. Make as much money as you can, and try your best not to get broke. Copy everything you see on the TV, from the hairstyles to the clothes. And don't think too often, just do exactly as you're told. And if you ever get confused, then just turn towards the alcohol. You'll still hear your thoughts. Then just turn up the radio as you learn to live a lifestyle of drugs, sex, and rock and roll. But in all honesty, I just need to know, is there more to the cycle than growing and getting old? Living and dying just to leave behind a happy home and a whole lot of property that somebody else is going to own. I just really need to know before the casket's closed Cause I'm not willing to gamble with my soul Nor am I ready to take any chances These are just simple life questions And I'm just searching for some answers Like what are we doing here? And what is our purpose? How did we get here? And who made us so perfect? And what happens once we go? Or is this world all really worth it? questions we don't answer because apparently we don't really have to there's no purpose to this life and our existence is merely natural then in that case please let me ask you did you create yourself or was it somebody else who had fashioned you because you're a being that's impeccable faultless and unparalleled you're a product of supreme intelligence and i'm merely being rational for there isn't a camera on this earth that can come close to the human eye Nor a computer that can compete alongside the human mind And if the whole world was to come together we wouldn't be able to create a single fly So many signs yet we still deny A science tries to justify that all this could come from none When it's a simple sum, zero plus zero plus zero cannot possibly ever give you one so from where did all this order come? For everything has its origins, a maker, a creator of its own. I mean, the only reason you're watching this video is because somebody had to press upload. So we can believe in the Big Bang, but I'd rather believe in he who caused it to explode. Allah, 
the creator of everything along with every single soul. The ever living, the master, the only one who is in control. Unlike his creation, beyond our imagination and no, he's not a man nor does he have any partners in association. He's on his own. And no, he did not ever leave us alone. Just like every manufacturer, he left us with an instruction manual. The Quran and Islam, and I'm sorry to jump to conclusions, but it's the only one possible. The only definition of God is the one and only supreme being, it's logical. A book with zero contradictions, with miracles that are both scientific and historical. All revealed over 1400 years ago. Like the detailed description of the human embryo. The descriptions of the human embryo in the Quran cannot be based on scientific knowledge in the 7th century. To the mountains as pegs holding firm the earth below. And the two seas that don't mix in a complete separate flow. To the planets in orbit alternating night and day as they stay in flow. The expansion of the universe and the creation of everything from H2O. To the stories of the past and the preservation of Pharaoh To identifying the lowest point in the land where Persia defeated Rome The gushing fluid that created man in the glands between the ribs and the backbone And not a word has changed, it's still the same So please explain how all this was known over 1400 years ago to a man who couldn't read or write as he would recite whatever the angel spoke. And if you still don't believe, please try to come up with something that's even close. But you can't, so we took God as a mockery and his messengers as a joke. Muhammad could not read or write. How's somebody who can't read or write gonna start a religion? Dismiss the scriptures as legends and tales of the ancient folk As we live life according to our whims, desires and hopes Saying this life is the only home we will ever know We will live then die then simply turn to bones Yo, lo, correction After the grass dies the rain arrives and it regrows And Allah promises to do the same thing to your very soul and bring you back from your very fingertips to your toes as the all-seeing supreme being watches us so close and we are surely being tested in our wealth, our health and our self and everything that we've been blessed with so believe for we will surely be resurrected and be brought back to our Lord and account for every single deed as he hands us our books and orders us to read from the bad to the good and everything in between You yourself are sufficient for your own accountability So don't be mad at me You are the one who thought he wouldn't come back to me I gave you a whole life long to search after me But you were busy in all that which was temporary So read And glad tidings to all those who believed And if you disbelieve Read and don't let that day be the first day you find out what your life really means. Read. Back here on the Dean Show with the original champion. No time limits at that time. Now you have weight divisions and people are cross training. But this is strictly Gracie Brazilian Jiu Jitsu against the best in any other mar martial art. What were the rules? There was no rules. No rules. <laughs> Everything goes. It was Everything. pretty much a men's agreement. No biting and no eye gouging. But if they did it, there was no punishment. Oh, okay. So that was like, okay, we're not going to do that. But if you look, if you choose to go to that low level, yeah. that's on you. Okay. But that was like a men's agreement. Like the FC won um, my final match after the, my third match in final on that day, that night. It was uh, Gerard Gordua. I took him down. He took a bite of my ear. Oh, he did a so Mike Tyson on you? Bite my ear, pull it off. I, I whispered in his ear. I was like, man, you're cheating. He just gave me a look like, so what? Uh -huh. So when I got the choke on him, I hold a little That's longer. why you held it tight. Uh, you <laughs> held it extra tight. He was cheating, man. Now I let go when I want it. Uh -huh. Amazing. <laughs> Tell us about this uh, uh, 
the Sports Illustrated, with the magazine, famous Mag sports magazine, they did a feature of the 50 most influential athletes of all time. Is this right? Number 44. Thank God, it's amazing. <laughs> tell, tell us about this. Were you, how, did, they, did they invite you? Did, was this something they, just... No, that's, uh, I asked my manager about that, and he said it's reporters that put out a vote on who is the most influential athletes. Mm -hmm. I was wondering how come my father was not in there. Yeah. And I was, because mm -hmm. I'm a product of his work. Mm -hmm. And he said, the manager said, probably because you are the one that was the vehicle that shows to the world on UFC by beating two, three, four opponents in one night, yeah. the art of great jiu-jitsu, even though your father is the one that created so This was also, you had like uh, legends like Muhammad Ali, who else was in there? Big names. Muhammad Ali, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Yeah. yeah. Pelé. Pe was the second Brazilian one. That, that was the yeah. other Brazilian that was in there too. Uh -huh. so have you ever... Baseball players and Wayne Gretzky and mm -hmm. the most influential athletes. Did, did, did you ever, to this day, have anybody who wants to test you? Nah. No? That's kind of... It, it's, I get paid for, to fight now. That's man. it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you used so, to fight for free back in Brazil. Yeah. Now we get paid to fight. That's it. Yeah, don't break a sweat for nothing. That, tell us, uh, you know, for the people that are looking to train a martial art, okay, and they're watching us, and they're really like, they, they, we know that martial arts have so many benefits, but they're trying to pick, okay, should I, should I um, train karate, kung fu, and now they got Hoist Gracie on the Dean Show. Why should they train jiu-jitsu, Gracie Brazilian jiu-jitsu, why? Because it's the best self-defense art out there. It's the most complete one. I mean, martial art in general is the biggest sport, second biggest sports in the world. Soccer is the first. Martial art in general is the second. Any martial art is good. But great jiu-jitsu is m more complete because you start standing up. It's like a karate, for instance. If you take the karate guy down to the ground, he doesn't know what to do. In great jiu-jitsu, we do. Wrestling, they teach the people how to pin the, each other down, but doesn't, the fight doesn't finish there. If it was a fight in the street, what are you going to do? Pin the person down? So you have to know how to submit the opponent. Yeah. Another beautiful thing we see with, uh, we, we see a lot of, um bad examples of teachers in, uh, in many martial arts that now, what, what, what fascinated also me and I love is the, the code of conduct that the Gracie family also, you know, expels, meaning that now you have, like you said, this kindness, beating someone gently and kindly, this good, these good mannerisms, a good diet, you know, good uh, character development. All of these things are, are also part of uh, the, 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 the martial art. Uh, how important is this? Because you can end up learning, you know, uh, martial art and be the most arrogant. But it seems like you train jiu-jitsu, jiu you become humble. It's, I mean, martial art normally teaches you that in general. How to be humble and that's the spirit of martial art. But with us, I mean, I don't drink, never drink, never smoke. We have the called the Gracie diet. It's not exactly a diet. It's a more of an eating habits. It's not, I can't afford to get sick on the day of the fight. Yeah. So we eat everything. We just, there's a few things that we don't eat, but it's mostly how we combine the food. So it's a, it's a way of life. Mm -hmm. If people now, we're almost out of time. If people want to get a hold of you, they like, you travel all over the world doing seminars. Is that right? This year alone, I just got back from Kuwait, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Hawaii, Australia, mm -hmm. this year, <laughs> and now I'm here. How can people get a hold of you to, uh, to learn more about, you know, Grace's Jiu-Jitsu? To learn website, hoistgrace.com, or at Real Hoist on Twitter, Beautiful. And Facebook, and Instagram. Yep. I'd like to thank you so much for, for being with us. We have, uh, we got to go, but you can't come on a D show and not get a gift. This is for you. Thank you so much, Hoy. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much for being with Thank us. Thank you. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you. And that was legendary Hoist Gracie on the Dean Show. And now you understand why we've been wearing the kimono, the, the jiu-jitsu gi. Have fun training the martial arts. Learn it. It's the most effective martial art in the world. Tune in every week to the Dean Show. We'll see you next time here. Until then, same time, same channel. And don't forget, follow us on Facebook, like us on Twitter. Until next time, peace. Take that simple step that you ask your maker to guide you, that he'll guide you? Yes, I, I, I advise this a lot uh, so for people who are searching.
put your head on the floor in the, in, the, in the state of prostration, like all the prophets did, and ask the creator of the universe to show you the way, to guide you to the straight path. And if someone who sincerely asks for guidance, subhanAllah, they'll find it in Islam. That's it.